there ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the Dutch Sea channel and I have me another box, yes sir, and in this box is a Quantum Chaotic 3D Quadcopter. So a quadcopter again that can uh, potentially fly upside down. Now right off the back I'll tell you that I'm not much of a 3D pilot, that's not what I bought the quadcopter for, but uh, well maybe I'll try it. In this video, however, I'll show you what's in this box, what it all looks like and I'll do a flight demo in several modes with the chaotic quadcopter. So let's have a look what's in this box. Okay, first thing in the box is this radio in case you've ordered the RTF version. And I have, as you, <laughs> as you can tell. Um, by the way, there's a link in the description to this quadcopter and uh, do check it out because it is ridiculously cheap. Especially uh, considering it comes with a radio. So, uh, yeah, I did uh, already have radios, obviously, and you can order the, uh, the quadcopter without a radio. Um, I felt like trying this radio out though. Um, you often see uh, Hobby King pilots use this orange radio, orange RX radio, and uh, yeah, I just wanted to see if it at all works comfortably. And I have flown the Chaotic um, four times now, and the radio is just fine. The, the stick feel is uh, pretty nice, uh, there is no apparent uh, slop or dead spot in the center of the stick, uh, so that, that's pretty okay. The programming of the radio I haven't looked into very much. Um, if you buy the RTF version of this uh, Chaotic Quadcopter, the radio comes all set up and done, so there's no real need to uh, mess about in the menu. Um, let's see, yeah, the radio has all kinds of switches. As you can uh, tell, lots of switches. For this chaotic quadcopter you only need two though. Um, so yes, you can obviously use this radio for other kinds of uh, RCs, uh, planes, boats, uh, quadcopters. Um, it is, what is this, a six, yeah, it's a six channel radio. And yeah, for the chaotic you need this switch, which is the only freeway switch. Uh, which is used to select your flight mode and you need this switch over here which is basically a throttle hold so your safety switch. Other than that, yeah, like I said, if you uh, get this chaotic quadcopter with the radio um, there's no real need to uh, do any setup work, it'll just fly right out of the box. At least mine did, so that, that's all good. The quad comes with some paperwork, a uh, manual, separate manual for the radio itself, which is uh, very nice. Uh, by the way, this radio that comes with the quadcopter is a DSM-2 compatible radio. Uh, so you can actually use it for uh, other bind and fly uh, quadcopters, planes and such. That's nice. Um, and it comes with a manual for the quadcopter itself, uh, which is pretty okay. It is in uh, English and it tells you uh, most things you need to know. Um, however, I wasn't able to find uh, info on how to arm and disarm it. Um, I'll show you in this video, by the way, how to uh, arm and disarm it. So uh, yeah, with, with this video you will know <laughs> how to arm and disarm it. Okay, this also came with the quadcopter. Um, mine already had a receiver in it, uh, but you do get a cable to connect uh, other kinds of uh, PWM receivers. Uh, I won't be using it, but uh, it's nice that they include that cable for you. And you get a piece of uh, Velcro to uh, stick your LiPo into the quadcopter. Not really needed and uh, I won't be using it, but it's obviously nice that they include it in the kit. And here we have the star of the show, the Chaotic. Um, a brushless quadcopter, obviously. Pretty beefy motors. I'll uh, have some specs on the screen uh, right now, by the way. And uh, you can obviously pause the video if you want a closer look at those. Um, yeah, carbon fiber arms. And uh, they look and feel very sturdy. So I'm happy with that. And yeah, in most quadcopters I've flown that have a carbon X frame like this, 
those are pretty durable and they uh, take up crashes pretty well so I'm happy to see the frame looking like this it has a Lexan body top and bottom and at the bottom you see a cut out over here for your lipo uh, there you go um, yeah the quad coupler does not come with lipos by the way uh, yeah, it's not in that sense it's not completely RTF um, I've opted for a graphene 1804s so yes it is a 4s quadcopter and let's see at the bottom it also has landing legs uh, might be a bit hard to see carbon fiber landing legs I'm not sure how durable those will be uh, same goes for the Lexan body of course um, I would have liked to see spare spares for that available and um, like I said I have flown the quadcopter a few times by now and I'm happy to say that this paint scheme with uh, the front being predominantly white and the back black uh, that really aids you in orientation uh, better than I had expected and the quad also comes with this sticker sheet uh, so you can personalize the quadcopter a bit those uh, black the black parts go uh, in the grooves over here I think and you, know, you can apply those uh, uh, or, not, or not to your own liking of course okay what I will do next is um, I'll show you um, my first uh, flights with the quadcopter now and after that we'll take the shell off and uh, have a look at the internals of the quadcopter so let's uh, see how it does first and then we'll have a closer look at the internals okay we're out on a nice grassy field and um, disclaimer there are a few more people than I would have liked around here so safety first I'll take it easy with the quad today especially those kids yeah um, I don't want to hurt anyone especially not others okay uh, let's see first thing first um, arming proce procedure you've got this switch over here which is basically your safety switch so with the switch swept forward uh, the throttle won't do anything so if you connect up your lipo be sure to have that switch flipped forward and you're good to go um, after that if you flip it on back uh, you apply a little bit of throttle to arm it it's a it's a bit of a strange arming procedure but it, it works perfectly fine I have had no trouble at all with it and you disarm it by flipping the switch forward again then the quad has that um, mad cow flight controller which has a myriad of flight modes which uh, like most flight controllers do um, yeah obviously stabilized self level mode and uh, a semi auto level mode in which you can do flips I'll show that in a minute and uh, it has the 3d modes in which the center stick will be zero throttle and everything upwards of that will be upward thrust everything downwards of that will be uh, reverse thrust so uh, if you're flying upside down this will be upward thrust and um, you actually have a stabilized mode in 3d and to my knowledge it's the only flight controller that does that trick which is fun and out of the box um, it has three flight modes a uh, fully stabilized self level mode uh, as the first flight mode the second one is a semi outer level mode in which you can do flips and the third one is a stabilized 3d mode I won't be doing that today because uh, well it's a new quad to me as well right I'm only uh, a human and uh, I'll get to uh, grips with the quadcopter a bit more in the coming weeks and then I'll try and show you some 3d flying as well okay so that's the transmitter obviously first you switch on the transmitter then you hook up the quad let's do that right now be sure uh, to have the quad level when plugging it in by the way
Okay, let's see how we do. I'm in um, outer level mode, the most basic of modes right now. To see how stable it is. It looks like I didn't have it completely level to the ground when uh, hooking up the battery. That's okay, I don't really care. It's uh, veering a bit to the to the right and front. Oh well. Okay, bank left and right, ma maximum bank left and right. A uh, pretty decent bank rate. Um, this is obviously not a beginner quad, not at all. It's a brushless quad with a lot of power for S, but uh, this isn't a breathtaking angle like this. So this is re reasonably easy to fly like this. And the yaw rate, huh. the yaw rate is pretty decent. Let's take it around the block a bit. Forward pitch. Um, actually the yaw rate could have been a little faster, for my liking that is. And um, yeah, these are 3D props, so symmetrical props. So a punch out will probably lead to a bit of vibration. Let's try that. Oh, not as much as I had expected. This sounds a lot better than the XKX350. And I was kind of hoping this quad might be my successor to the X350. Yeah, it's probably because of those carbon fiber arms, less vibration. It sounds a lot smoother than the X350. Okay, let's uh, engage that uh, semi outer level mode and now I should be able to do flips. And uh, sure enough, it do, does flips. And I'll do another flip and uh, look for it. Uh, it. It makes the flips very smoothly. I like that. Supple, not too fast. Yeah, I am a fan of these kinds of flips. I don't really like the super fast f flips. Yeah, pretty cool. And uh, in the flips sense, it does approximately the same as the X350, I'd say. But again, yeah, this is a 4S quad instead of the 3S that uh, the X350 uses. So this quad is, yeah, it is quite a bit more powerful. It has far more punch to it. And uh, yeah, I am using a powerful LiPo, yeah, yeah, I know. It's very easy to flip this quad. Silky smooth on the throttle, very nice. Okay, so far, so good. I, I'd say. PID tuning. Let's take a closer look to uh, how it hovers. Hmm, it hovers. Good, well. Yep, it has a nice hover to it. Um, by the way, I will be changing the, the flight modes. My second flight mode will be full acro. And we'll see about uh, the 3D modes. I'll just have to experiment with that a bit more first.
yes this is a nice quad to fly and once again um, even if you're not into 3d flying this quad is cheapo so so far I'd recommend it can't say anything about the durability yet of course but uh, it's fun to fly I'll increase the yaw rate a little probably but apart from that I'm completely happy with with its flight performance all right back to the studio where I'll show you what the inners of this quadcopter look like okay well that went pretty well I think uh, so far I really like how the quadcopter feels uh, I'm not uh, used to it really by now but uh, uh, like I mentioned uh, I will uh, get some stick time into uh, the quadcopter and then I'll try my hand at 3D flying as well so I'll uh, try and show some 3D flying in the near future as well bear with me on that okay so the quadcopter itself legs on body and um, after taking out four screws one over here there there and there you can lift up the Lexan body revealing uh, its innards and yeah it's a pretty typical X style of carbon fiber quadcopter it has a middle section which is a carbon fiber plate and there's yeah there's also a carbon fiber plate at the bottom there is a little ring over here on standoffs that will protect your flight controller and here is the mad cow flight controller yes um, this uh, for, as far as I know is the only uh, 3d flight controller that can do uh, stabilized inverted flight uh, correct me if I'm wrong but uh, for as far as I know it's the only one that does that and over here you see the tiny Orange RX DSM2 receiver. I might want to reposition this antenna a bit. Um, this antenna at the rear was strapped down on this uh, with this tie wrap. Uh, so if you order up this quadcopter, please take that antenna out of this tie wrap. Otherwise, uh, the arm will block the signal. Um, Medco flight controller, very small. And let's see. Um, this side over here, you've got yourself a USB port to uh, reconfigure things. Now, with the body shell on, you can obviously not access that USB port. I would really have liked if that were, was different. Now, you can easily solve that by just adding a uh, USB extension cord to the rear over here because the, the rear side of the quadcopter is open the body shell is open at that side so if, if someone from Hobby King watches this video uh, I think it would be nice to add a USB extension cord to the flight controller so you can access the flight controller without taking the body off every time and that's it yeah you have uh, your flight controllers along the perimeter of the frame yeah they, they have obviously been set up for 3d flying they are sign case I think um, I'm not really sure and I don't really care as long as the quadcopter flies well they do have caps on them that's very nice and pretty much mandatory in a 3d, 3D quad I think so yeah that's it that's my initial view on this chaotic quadcopter. I will be uh, doing uh, some flying uh, off screen with it uh, now and then they'll come uh, back uh, to you with another video about this quadcopter with some more advanced flying with it. For now, thanks very much for watching and hope to see you back in another video. Bye bye.